Well, a city bus driver is being vocal in his complaints about what he says is the company's lack of social distancing guidelines. So far, city bus has not responded to him. News 18's Marvin Bills joins us now live from near city bus with that story. Marvin? Good evening, Jeff, and good evening to you all at home. I spent the afternoon talking with Don Brown about his frustrations with City Bus. He's hoping to have better protections, not only for himself, but for the passengers. Now, he told me he did speak to management about this issue and about the lack of safety. He also laid it out in a series of YouTube videos. So, the inside of our bus is about eight feet wide and 35 feet long and it's really a confined space. Transit operator Don Brown is doing everything he can as a city bus driver to practice social distancing, and he needs some help from his employer to do so. But he says there hasn't been a whole lot of progress on that front. If they did much less, they pretty much would have done nothing. Brown has worked for City Bus more than 10 years. Like many drivers, he's trying to minimize close contact with people who use public transportation by cordoning off seats on his bus. My main concern is that we are not doing everything at our disposal to, in our little corner of the world, to help get this over with. He's tried passing along his suggestions to management, but to no avail. So he took it a step further, posting several videos on YouTube to get their attention. He says he's risking his job to spread an important message to not only keep his family safe, but the community too. I'm on the front line. Me and my coworkers. We have hundreds of people a day on our buses. We're on the front lines. We don't get hazard pay. You know, we're out there doing our job because we have a work ethic and we're committed to our job and to the community. Brown is trying to follow suit with other cities who are doing things like decreasing their routes to essential trips only. But he says right now, several of his passengers on the bus are joyriding, and it's hard to practice social distancing if people are sitting in close quarters. Unless they need to get to a doctor's appointment or the grocery store or to get some medications, those are essential trips. Going to your sister's house for a barbecue isn't. I did reach out to City Bus for a comment, but I haven't heard anything back yet. Brown plans to release his latest YouTube video, which is about 15 minutes, and it outlines his suggestions to several local and state government officials. He also noted that he spoke with the general manager of City Bus today. They are planning to have a meeting tomorrow about this issue. Live in Lafayette, Marvin Bills, News 18.